Hi everyone, it's Anne, and today we're going to do a very easy watercolor flower design. This one I'm going to place on top of a card to send to our seniors who receive Meals on Wheels at the J. So I'm starting by taking just plain water and making a teardrop shape on my watercolor paper. I'll preface that these aren't my favorite watercolors to use. They are a little cheap, but I did want to show that you don't need super high expensive quality stuff to make a decent painting. So I'm taking the deep purple and I'm placing it at the top of the teardrop and then gently pushing the paint down the petal. And to add a little bit more dimension, I'm putting that kind of deep reddish purple around either side of the petal too. So again, to show you teardrop shape in water. And you don't wanna to mix too much water in with your panned paint, because that'll dilute it too much. So you wanna keep the, um, the paint pretty thick and opaque because there's already water on your paper. So next I'm doing a blue flower here, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better how the paint is being pushed around the water that's sitting on the paper. So you can gently push it around wherever you want it to. I wanted to make sure that it at least hit the outline of the petal so that you could see what it was, basically. And I'm adding a very deep purple here. You'll see it better as it dries. Right now it looks similar to the blue, but it adds a little bit more dimension to the flower. So then you want some smaller flowers and petals to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm doing a few buds. coloring the center. To do the stems, I'm doing the same technique, just taking water and placing it first down, and then the green over top, and moving it up and down where that water is. If you accidentally go a little too far into the petal like I did, you can go back over top of it once it's dried out a little and just reshape that petal. These are the leaves I'm adding. The same kind of motion as I did the stem, but making it thicker so it fills out more to like a skinny leaf on these flowers. Next, I wanted to do a wash in the background just so it wasn't the stark white page. So I've got a very gentle orange that I diluted out to a light tint. And just pushing that over the water on the page. And remember, you can always make it darker, but it's harder to make it lighter, at least with these pan paints. Then I'm taking off my painter's tape. And that's it, that's your finished watercolor. It's an easy technique, I want you to try it at home. Please make a card out of these and send them into the J so we can give them to our seniors with hashtag connect with cards. Try it at home, share your results, and thanks for watching.